Hey everybody and welcome to the Plant Stock channel. My name is Jesse if we haven't met yet. And today we have some great news now regarding Very My Berry, the very good food company, aka the very good butchers. Now it is actually confirmed it's going to start trading on the Nasdaq. Some excellent news. And by the way, happy Thanksgiving, Canada. I just found out the hard way that is Thanksgiving today in Canada. And the way I found that out is that I took a look at the stock charts because I was thinking, whoa, they joined the NASDAQ. And we found that out a few hours ago. Uh, they're joining now on Wednesday. And I was thinking, well, the company should then be trading up today, right? Because it's really good news. And then I said, like, oh, minus 3.52%. And I was like, ooh, this is not looking good. Why is that? It's not as popular as I thought it would be. But then I realized that there's something wrong. Nothing is really happening. This is what happened in the end of Friday. So then I realized, is it only in Canada? And then I realized that other Canadian companies were basically standing still. And it was a holiday. And that is that it's thanksgiving in canada right then i looked at the american version and it's up about 4.2 percent so pretty good pretty stable i would say 4.2 percent and we could of course see it going up more it was actually up to about five percent so we'll see if it'll keep going up or it will be trading down but as always before we get into it folks i would truly appreciate an early thumbs up to help spread this video to more people out there and if you haven't joined the channel yet and you are interested in plant-based companies make sure to subscribe and don't forget that bell button and if you're interested in being part of our free Discord channel where we focus on plant-based companies like Tattoo Chef, like the Very Good Food Company, Beyond Meat, and Oatly, to name a few, then take a look in the description. All right, guys, thanks for your help. Yeah, so we found out that they are actually going to start trading on the NASDAQ, and it seems that that's going to happen now on, on Wednesday, October 13. And it's going to use the ticker symbol here, look carefully, vgfc again guys vgfc so if you are trading in the u.s uh if you're staying in the u.s so to say and you want to buy it in an american version this is the version to look for and as we've talked about before i think this will be mostly for those people who has used the vryyf version which is otc version right but for us who are trading in the very version here very dot v which is a tsxv will will keep having the same one as before and that doesn't really matter because as we know they are interconnected right so really good news here and as the ceo states here quote trading on the nasdaq is a mark of achievement and a stature for qualified companies listed companies must meet financial and liquidity requirements and satisfy corporate governance and disclosure requirements on both an initial and continuing basis. Listing our stock on the NASDAQ is an important milestone that builds on the positive momentum from our increased scale and distribution and new product launches. Along with increasing our visibility in the marketplace, we anticipate the listing to improve the liquidity of our stock, further broaden our institutional shareholder base, and ultimately enhance long-term shareholder value. Additionally, we expect this listing to further enhance our ability to implement our multi-channel growth strategy in the U.S. and Europe and optimize the company's return on invested capital. And I found that really interesting that he talked about institutions. Like we know, this is great news. This means that retail investors and institutions as well will have a bigger opportunity. They will find out about this company in a bigger way than they've had so far when they're listed on the Nasdaq, right? Uh, and when it comes to institutions, it couldn't be better because if we take a look at it right now, it's about 0.2% that's held by institutions. So basically nothing, right? So ample room for companies going in there for sure. And as we know, when it comes to the Tattoo Chef company, they have almost 17%, which is much, much bigger than this company then. And if we go into the industry leader, Beyond Meat, it's about 54 to 55 percent that is institutions but like i've talked about in other videos 
Uh, if this act, when this actually goes through now on Wednesday, it's kind of hard to believe. Uh, and I guess it's kind of hard to believe, folks, just to interrupt you here a little, is because, again, I've been part of this company, to part of their journey to some extent since they actually IPO'd back in June, July of 2020, right? About one and a half year now, and especially went in really a lot uh, in October, November, uh, when I started this channel, and also when Jeremy talked about this company. And I think, I do believe a lot of my subscribers, you went into when Jeremy talked about it. So we've been in it for at least a year now, many of us, those of us who are long-term investors. And we talked about this for a, a long time then. I mean, a year, it's not a long time from a long-term perspective, but I still think that for a lot of newer investors, one year is still a big part of your time, right? A big part of your life. So it is fun that we see this event happening right now. And I hope we'll have the chance, but I actually don't know don't know about this and I haven't looked it up. You know, the typical thing when you're get, getting listed or doing an IPO, usually you go and ring the bell when the market opens, right? And I'm not sure if that's going to happen since this isn't a new company that's getting totally listed on the stock exchange for the first time, right? This is just a new listing. But if that actually happened, that would be amazing if we had that opportunity to see that together. But again, if anyone knows if that will happen, let me know down in the comments. But again, folks, I can see this actually, as we talked about before, there's probably a chance now, it's up about 4.4% now, uh, that we could see as we get closer to Wednesday, that it might start going up more and more, especially when we get closer in Tuesday, and might even happen on Wednesday. That's not a given, of course, but traditionally that is what happens when you have a listing on a much larger stock exchange. And if that happens, of course, folks, you have to handle that in the best fashion that suits you. Uh, uh, but be aware, I do believe that whatever happens, if it does start to fly up more, more, and let's face it, in the last five days or so, it's gone up basically about... I think it's about 45% to 50%. So it's actually gone up quite a lot already on this news, right? So, uh, but it might get up more. So that means that personally, I think there's a chance that we might see after the listing or a couple of days after the listing, or at the very least a couple of weeks after. I do believe if nothing more happens, we will see a bigger sell-off again. And that's not me trying to be bearish because, you know, long term, I really believe in this company. But I think the reason for that is that it has gone up quite a lot already and it might go up even more. And considering that even though this is great news when it comes to getting more attention, and that's what we want long term, of course, but the fundamentals hasn't really changed. We has, haven't already all of a sudden gotten a lot more revenue, right? We haven't started to, uh, like selling products in other countries in a bigger way. So I think that's something that's important to recognize. No worries, though. This is going to happen eventually. We're going to really get up to scale and we're going to see a lot more revenues with time. And when that happens, obviously, the stock price will follow suit. And that actually takes me back to a quote that I we've gotten up on my ch on my page here. Uh, Plant stock Jesse. Here we go. So if the business does well, the stock eventually follows, right? It doesn't mean it happens directly, right? But if a company is doing well, this stock is bound to follow suit, right? It doesn't mean that if company goes up 50% in revenue or growth, that the stock will go up 50% but it will do well, right? So, and if we believe in this company, as I think many of us do, and this is a perfect example of what's happening right now that they are delivering, right? Uh, then I do expect this stock price to actually be way higher in one to two years from now. But again, a long-term play for sure. All right, folks, that was it for today. I hope you got a lot of value from today's video. Again, Canada, happy Thanksgiving. Hope you're enjoying time with your family. Uh, and if you wouldn't mind, as always, I would appreciate a thumbs up to help spread the video to more people. If you want to 
subscribe to the channel and be part of this be part of the journey with the very good food company tattoo chef beyond me to name a few don't forget that bell button when you're subscribing and again if you want to be part of the free discord channel take a look in the description thank you guys and don't forget this was not financial advice these were just my own thoughts and opinions it's important to do your own due diligence and invest safe have a great monday peace out